hi i hope you are doing good so in this video i'm going to show you that how you can create back to scroll top functionality in both cargo 3 as well as uh, this one is for cargo 2 so i'm going to show you in both and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe because i'll be uploading more such useful tutorials and yeah let's see how to create this first in cargo 3 let me create a new page this is my home page and let me set it as home let me add a text let me give a, it a styling and align this at the center after that i have an image let me upload an image so this is the image and i am uploading this image so that the content gets little longer and after that let's create a separate page for button so i'm creating a separate page for button and after that uh, i have created the blog for this and from here uh, if you scroll down i have uh, added the step by step tutorial as well uh, from here you can see the html code for the button go back and paste the html code for the button for that uh, in the button page after that go back to the blog and here you will find the css for that button copy this again go to the css tab and paste this thing now after uh, creating the button make sure you pin this page and i am going to align this at the footer and and i am going to make this as fixed so let me first go back to the home page and decrease the image size and now as you can see that our button has been created so this is our button code and if you want suppose you do not want arrow you want text so what you can do you can uh, remove the button and add the text top like this and after that you can change the background color of the button as per your choice from here and if you want to change this color you can change the text color as well something like this if you want to change the width height you can change it as well for now i am going to keep this 60 pixel both the things and if you want to change the po position you can change the bottom as well as right so you can adjust the position of the button as well if you want to change the size of the text i'm going to add the property font size i will add this in the blog as well i will update this thing and now like 30 pixel something like this so after that if i publish the publish and run this thing you will see that it is the functionality is not working we need to add javascript for this so you can go back to the blog and copy this script after that go back to the editor and go to the global editor in the html section paste this thing and update the code now refresh the okay it is not working let me just see the code again 
ओके आई हैवेंट अब लेट मी जस्ट एड क्विकली सो आई विल अपडेट दिस कोड एज वेल देर वॉज सम कोड मिसिंग नाउ इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस नाउ यू कैन सी करेंटली इट इज नॉट विजिबल वेन आई विल स्क्रोल डाउन द बटन विल अपेयर एंड वेन आई विल क्लिक इन द बटन इट विल डिसअपेयर एंड सॉरी इट विल गो बैक टू द टॉप now let's see how you can add this in the cargo 2 uh, so this is the cargo 2 editor and after that go to the design tab go in the html section and go back to the blog here i have added the code this is the code for cargo 2 copy this thing and paste whole code in the html section it will be not visible uh, in the editor just uh, go back to the website and refresh it now as you can see the uh, button in the cargo 2 uh, similarly uh, for the cargo 2 as well you can change the styling of the button uh, from by changing the css from here and you can change the text from here so i hope you have enjoyed uh, you have found this uh, video helpful and i will link this website in the description and if you like my work you can uh, go and support me uh, in the uh, buy me a coffee section thank you so much